Good morning and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, it's the 1st of January, Friday the 1st, 2021. And uh, we're going to look at the lectionary, as we always do, to see what our reading is on this wonderful day, this day that marks the beginning of a new year. So uh, what is it? Well, the reading for today is Romans chapter 2, verse 17 to the end of the chapter. And this is what it says. But if you call yourself a Jew and rely on the law and boast of your relation to God and know his will and determine what is best because you are instructed in the law. And if you are sure that you are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, a corrector of the foolish, a teacher of children, having in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth. You then that teach others, will you not teach yourself? While you preach against stealing, do you steal? You that forbid adultery, do you commit adultery? You that abhor idols, do you rob temples? You that boast in the law, do you dishonour God by breaking the law? For as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Circumcision, indeed, is of value if you obey the law. But if you break the law, your circumcision has become uncircumcision. So, if those who are uncircumcised keep the requirements of the law, will not their uncircumcision be regarded as circumcision? And those who are physically uncircumcised, but keep the law, will condemn you, that have the written code, and circumcision, but break the law. For a person is not a Jew who is one outwardly, nor is true circumcision something external and physical. Rather, a person is a Jew who is one inwardly, and real circumcision is a matter of the heart. It is spiritual and not literal. Such a person receives praise, not from others, but from God. Well, that's our reading for New Year's Day. Happy New Year! Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best reading, was it? I mean, I... <laughs> It is the word of God, okay? And I am a vicar and I am passionate about scripture, holy scripture. But yet sometimes church kind of shoots itself in the foot. A church that's there trying to be, that's meant to be relevant, meant to be a bright light in a dark world. Sometimes we get so kind of, well, churchy about things that we cease to be relevant. We cease to be a force in the world which we inhabit. Now, don't get me wrong. Romans chapter 2 is an important chapter and these verses that we've read, well, they make a really good point, something that we can carry with us into the year that's coming. What's that? Well, if you were to summarise those verses that I read, it is basically about what marks you out to be a man or a woman of God. Well, it's your heart. There you go. That's the summary of that, of those verses. There's more to it than that. But basically, Paul's having a go at all the Jews who are kind of going, well, I'm a Jew because of this, because of that, and because I have the law, because I'm, I'm circumcised. And, and he's saying, no, no, you, you're a Jew. You belong to God. You're, you're God's people because of your heart. That's, I mean, Jesus made that point, didn't he? And whilst that's a great message to hear and to uh, uh, keep with us, I, I kind of think maybe those who were in charge of the election could have chosen something just a bit more appropriate. Now, I know that the church year, uh, that's the Church of England's year and the Roman Catholic year and the Lutherans and so on, a number of denominations starts with, with the first Sunday of Advent. That's like, that's like the church's new year. And it starts with the people longing for Christ's return. Why? Because when Christ returns, he brings the, the fulfilment of the kingdom. Everything is completed. Everything is drawn to him. And so finally, our hopes, our dreams are realised at that moment. And that's a great way to start the year. But sometimes the church just needs to get past itself and just needs to look at the world in, in, uh, in which it lives, the, the context that it, it's ministering to. And the fact is, it's New Year's Day today. So here's my thought for the day. What passage would you choose for today? I'd love it if you emailed me your answers. What passage, short passage, would you choose?
for New Year's Day 2021. What passage would you choose that would bring hope to a troubled world? That would bring hope actually to a troubled church? What would you have gone for? I hope. <laughs> I've depressed you too much. And um, you don't feel I'm too angry or anything. I mean, you know, the lectionary is great because it lets scripture do its stuff, which is I don't, I'm not in control of scripture. I I want scripture to be in control of me, if that makes sense. But nevertheless, I hope that on this New Year's Day, you'll be thinking about how your faith is relevant to the lives of those around you today. That's all from me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's Day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.